today. Intel's desktop ARC GPUs get a price. GPU prices have lowered to amazing levels. Full RX 7000 specs leak and Ryzen 7000 pricing. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, if you remember a little while back, Intel held their XE HPG scavenger hunt, and the top winners would get an Intel Arc GPU. Well, that started all the way back in March of last year, and while Intel has announced the winners, they still haven't received their GPUs. Well, get this, in a new story by Video Cards, Intel has apparently begun offering CPUs as a consolation prize. See, some winners actually selected to get an alternative prize once it became clear that Intel was having issues. And in the email sent to those users, Intel offers the grand prize winners an i7-12700K and first place winners an i5-12600K. Winners have until August 19th to decide. Now, this is interesting for one reason. Intel claims that the prize value will be the equivalent to the GPUs, so this essentially tells us the value of Intel's ARC GPUs. The 12600K would replace the A750, so it should be around $299. And honestly, that's not that great great if you ask me, because we know that Intel's A750 is right around Nvidia's 3060, yet that nearly year and a half old GPU went on sale for $329. Plus you have a bigger guarantee with drivers, etc. Next is the A770, which according to this is worth around $419, so that would be right around the 3060 Ti and 3070. All in all, I'd say Intel's GPUs are looking like a serious mess. Both Nvidia and AMD are set to launch their next-gen core fairly soon, yet Intel's trying to compete with their last gen, and barely doing that. I guess time, as always, will tell. Next up for today, GPU prices have finally reached a level where we have some actual deals. But before I get to that, take the next step in your PC journey by learning how they actually work. And there's no better place than with this video sponsor, Brilliant, the online learning platform that I personally recommend for anyone hoping to learn computer science. And there's a few reasons why. For one, Brilliant was built from the ground up to teach the STEM field. So each and every course is crafted with care and are actually made by some of the the greatest minds from MIT, Microsoft, Google, and more. Second, they teach you the best way, which is by having you actually do it yourself. And it's really cool because they don't just get you to read or instantly make you do stuff. They use fun and interactive puzzles to teach you concepts that build on one another really well. And their courses are amazing. Honestly, they've got it all. And when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld right now or right after this video, you can try it out for free. Plus, the first 200 of you who click the link will get 20% off the annual premium. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamermelt. Okay, so back to GPU prices, we've seen some fall by quite a bit over the last few months, getting right at or even a bit below MSRP, but we haven't really seen too many actual deals, that is, until now. For starters, two of AMD's 6900 XTs have been dropping in price on Newegg to an unreal $699.99 US. That's a 30% price drop below MSRP. Now, these cards were obviously launched as the ultra high end, and because of that, the return on investment you got from, say, the 6800 XT to 6900 XT was fairly low. But remember that this was before we started getting GPUs with an MSRP that was essentially a meme. This was right at the start of the shortage. So this actually brings a 6900 XT into a pretty decent price. Not only that, but they come with AMD's Raise the Game Bundle, which includes three games for free. But that's Lovely. not all. A 3080 Ti from Gigabyte is going for a6999 when you use this code. Now, this isn't as good of a Deal, I'd argue, but if you're wanting a GPU with great ray tracing capability, it's still 28% below MSRP. At the end of the day, GPU prices are getting better and better. Hopefully before long, we start seeing better prices in the low-end cards as well. Fingers crossed. Next up, we have a pretty massive story on AMD's next-gen RX 7000 GPUs. The story comes from a report by Angstronomics, who claims to know the final specs of AMD's RX 7000 cards. They even claim that these configurations were finalized in 2020 and have not changed. So yeah. 
let's get right to it. Starting things off, we have Navi 31, which is the highest end GPU that would likely make up the 7900 XT, 7800 XT, etc. And according to this, it comes with 96 CUs or the newer 48 WGPs, which makes for a total of 12,288 cores. It also has just 96 megabytes of infinity cache, and AMD apparently had a 3D stacked version with 192, but it didn't get enough of a performance boost to justify it. Next, it comes with a 384 bit bus. Moving on, the next GPU is Navi32, which will make up the more mid-range parts. It comes with 60 CUs or 7680 cores and 64 megabytes of infinity cache as well as a 256 bit bus. Finally is Navi33, which is a monolithic die. Both Navi31 and Navi32 were MCM GPUs, but with a single graphics chip. Navi33 is just monolithic, and it gets 4096 cores, 32 megabytes gigabytes of infinity cache and a 128 bit memory bus. Ultimately, I will say that this is a bit disappointing. Maybe AMD's next gen will see a huge jump in architectural performance, but the actual number of cores isn't all that high. I mean, it is more than last gen, but not by much. I'm not sure if AMD has a trick up their sleeve or what. And lastly for today, it looks like we get our first glance at pricing for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7000 CPUs. The story originally comes from known leaker Momomo underscore US, who found listings from PC Canada, with all of AMD's Ryzen 7000 launch parts available for pre-order. As you can see, we have the Ryzen 5 7600X, Ryzen 7 7700X, Ryzen 9 7900X, and 7950X, so the 7800X may not be coming after all. Either way, when it comes to price, things get pretty sad. These are obviously in Canadian dollars, so when we convert them to US, we can see that the 7600X is around $330 US, the 7700X is $475, the 7900X is $603, and the 7950X is a whopping $884. Now, it goes without saying that direct conversions don't always work, even if these are the Canadian MSRPs, so this would really just give us an idea, plus there's a chance that these could be placeholders and not the actual price. The only thing that's concerning is that they are actually selling them for pre-order, so this may in fact be a more final price. Remember that we saw rumored pricing a little while back that suggested things would be pretty expensive, so these may actually be around the final price, and if that's the case, AMD is likely either waiting for Intel to release their parts before lowering prices, or Ryzen 7000 is way more powerful than we thought. Either way, this is between a 10 to 12% price increase over Ryzen 5000 parts. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's next-gen Ryzen CPUs, or if that pricing is right, are you not happy? Let me know down in the comments below, and definitely make sure to check out Brilliant at brilliant.org slash gamermelt, and as always, have a great day!